the M80 ring road is being upgraded to include at least three lanes in each direction with extra lanes between the busiest interchanges. The $2.25 billion project is jointly funded by the Australian and Victorian governments. It will make it safer for drivers across the 38 kilometres between Princess Freeway and the Greensboro Highway with less congestion and better travel times. The first section being upgraded is the 9.7 kilometres between Calder Freeway and Sydney Road, which is expected to be completed at the end of 2012. The road is being widened to five lanes in each direction between Calder Freeway and Airport Drive. An integrated intelligent transport system will manage traffic flow along the whole M80 ring road. The system uses traffic lights on entry ramps to control entry onto the freeway, as well as overhead variable message and speed limit signs. Moving eastward, drivers cross a widened bridge over Melrose Drive before entering the M80 Ring Road interchange with Tullamarine Freeway. This is a pivotal area providing access to and from Melbourne Airport. Widening the Ring Road over the Tulla will see three lanes dedicated for drivers headed toward Altona and four lanes for Greensboro bound drivers. A new flyover ramp will take drivers heading south on the Tulla onto the M80 Ring Road Altona bound. This will improve safety by reducing weaving traffic. Also for drivers heading south on the Tulla, there will be a dedicated lane for drivers wanting to travel to Pascoe Vale Road. You'll need to choose your lane at the Tulla interchange. Two new dedicated lanes are also being built at the interchange for drivers on the Ring Road heading Greensboro bound who want to exit at Pascoe Vale Road. You will need to choose one of these lanes at this point because there won't be another opportunity to exit closer to Pascoe Vale Road. A new bridge is being built to the north of the existing bridge over Mooney Ponds Creek. This new bridge is six lanes wide and around six metres higher than the existing road. By raising the bridge, all vehicles, including heavy trucks, won't have to accelerate hard to make it up the hill, which helps reduce traffic noise for local residents. It also means cars and trucks can maintain a consistent speed, which reduces congestion and improves safety. Two lanes will be dedicated for drivers wanting to exit at Pascoe Vale Road and four lanes for drivers continuing on towards Greensboro. Altona bound traffic will be moved onto the existing bridge which will carry five lanes. An extra lane will be added in each direction through the Jacana Tunnel with entry walls shaped to guide drivers through the tunnel. To improve the look and feel of the road, the upgrade includes landscaping and urban design features. East of the Jacana Tunnel, there is a new pedestrian footbridge at Ophir Street.
the bridges over Merlinston Creek will be widened to add additional lanes. The Tullis Sydney Alliance works conclude at the Sydney Road interchange. The bridge is being widened to improve right hand turns. Additional lanes north and south on Sydney Road will allow better entry and exit from the freeway.